Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We've been wondering when EA was going to drop an SPC like this again, and they finally did. Unexpectedly good content yesterday on Saturday in FIBA 23 has actually led to some prices going up because of that specific SPC that I want to talk about in today's video. But we've got new TOTS cards coming today. We've got more leaks for content and a lot of prices moving, especially on Serie A TOTS cards affecting the rest of this market a lot to talk about today and a big sunday ahead if you're excited for the video today drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new now yesterday we actually started off by seeing new cards released into packs men of the matches i would have to believe that this might be one of the last sets of men of the matches that we would see released in packs uh we've got a rodrigo bernardo silva jeco bachuai a gird uh bono some nice moroccan links there as a center back and a goalkeeper. You know, nothing too much to write home about with these cards. They are impacts for a week. Really, what I'm hoping for now is EA to release 80 plus player picks again during Serie A team this season upgrade packs. It'll just be more fodder and more cards to pack that are a little bit higher rated than maybe what their gold cards are. So for those men of the matches there, some decent cards, nothing super crazy. Now into the SBCs we go, right? This is where there was a lot more action yesterday than what we were really expecting. Started off with, a showdown SBC for the UCL final Inter versus Man City matchup. And we've got a Joaquin Correa card with five star skill move boost, four star weak foot. You know what this card looks like when I look at it? I think of the Angel Di Maria card that was literally just dropped into the team of the season. Very comparable card to him there. You could also say Dybala is a kind of similar card. Five star skills though on this Correa card. Not bad. Finesse shot flare outside the foot. Technical dribbler. Um, you know, really a solid card all around. It's just, again, the price is the problem here with both of these showdown items. It's like we're having to pay a premium for both of these cards since they've made it to the UCL final. So 300,000 coins for Correa. You might as well just go to the market and pick up Di Maria, right? He's 270,000 coins. He's got the five-star skills. He's got different positions that he can play and might even be better in game than this Correa card. But nonetheless, if you're backing Inter for this UCL final, you're probably going with Correa with with a plus two, he would be cracked. Let's be honest. Um, 335,000 coins, still, still a bit of a steep price. Craftable this week during upgrades. Now, the one that's crazy is this Phil Foden, bro. I mean, I understand that EA, like us all, probably expect, especially after City winning the uh, FA Cup yesterday, expect City to do the business and to win this UCL final and complete the treble. But still, what is with EA Sports? and releasing overpriced Manchester City showdown cards. Remember we had like the Gundogan earlier this year, by the way, insane game from Gundogan yesterday, absolutely incredible from him. But it seems like every time we get a Manchester City showdown card, it's way overpriced. And that is exactly the case with this Phil Foden. Nice position opportunities there, good stats, really, really insane dribbling. But you look at the stats on this card compared to some of the cards that are in Serie A team of the season, even Premier League team of the season, and then you look at this price, 600,000 coins. It is disgraceful, honestly, that EA has priced this SPC here uh, at this point. Insane amount of Premier League tax, an insane amount of Manchester City tax, I guess you could say about that as well. But, I mean, you think about it, it's probably going to go to a 94 rated card. That's the expectation, right? Manchester City winning or being the favorites to win the UCL final. And then will this card be worth 600k? I still think no. But that's kind of crazy. If you're doing this SBC, you're probably a City fan. And I don't hate it if that is the case. But uh, just kind of, I guess, just in confusing from EA. It's W that we got that showdown. It's just not a W at the price that it was released. Now, the big content released yesterday that was really surprising to us, and it's the premise of this video, guys, is the 90-plus icon player pick and first of all surprised that it was not dropped today on sunday instead yesterday on saturday a one of three player pick guys we have been asking for an icon player pick for ages it's been a long time since we had a legit icon player pick sbc and we finally got one and it's making high rated fodder actually go up high rated fodder has been so low for so long and barely had any movement and this sbc yesterday kicked up some prices especially on that higher tier and especially on those team of the season cards. Now, this SBC, as its value stands right now, 388,000 coins. Not the cheapest gamble SBC ever, but what do we know, right? When the SBCs are a lot cheaper, like that 88 plus hero player pick from last week, or even the 90 plus icon upgrade pack that included all of these same uh, types of icons, 
um, you know, it was pretty cheap, right? It was like 180, 200,000 coins. So this one being a player pick, of course, it's going to be a bit more expensive. And as I've taken a look through here, some of the responses the Foot Sheriff's tweet yesterday, just asking how the polls were. I see a lot of L's. Um, you know, Rykard, Casillas, Clivert. But then you got some W's in here too, right? You've got a Del Piero, this guy got. He's, this guy's got a Jarzinho Prime and a Ferdinand. Uh, a lot of the picks, I think, are like all three Prime cards, which, again, it's a gamble SBC, guys. So you are definitely gambling doing this pack. But you could hit big. You could get a good Muller Team of the Year like that one there. Um, a Prime Pele. You've got a Casillas. You've got a Carlos Alberto. Uh, you got some W's in here, right? A couple Mateus I saw tweeted out yesterday, but they, again, it's a gamble, guys. So you could get big dubs like this Maldini. You could get big L's um, like just being all prime cards like this one right here. So it's probably an SBC that at this stage of the game, I'm going to be completing with upgrade packs this next week, just having a fun gamble uh, through all, out, throughout all of those. Um, as it is just a player to pick for an icon, right? And it's very, very fun to do. Now, with this being such a very desirable SBC for a lot of people, since it's the first icon player pick that we have had in a long time, it's impacting the market a lot, especially on SBC fodder. And again, you look at the rating requirements for this, right? 86, 87, and 89 with a team of the season. What's going up the most? That 89 rated squad is moving prices the most. And look at 91s from 20, what were they, 23K, 24K on this Lewandowski card yesterday, all the way up to 33,000 coins. Probably going to go a bit higher, to be completely honest, as more and more people do this icon player pick SBC uh, throughout the rest of the week. The 91s, the 92s, and the 90s, basically 88s and above, had really, really good price increases yesterday. 88s went from like, what, 13, 14K? 14,000 coins all the way to 19,000 coins to 20,000 coins for a lot of these cards. Some of them even went a little bit higher. It was that high-rated fodder that actually moved the most yesterday on the market, and that was unexpected. Number one, that the SPC was dropped yesterday on a Saturday, but number two, that it was more expensive. Even 85s moved a little bit. If you take a look at 85s, uh, some of these guys are back down into the low to mid 8K range again. Like 8.5K they just were. It looks like some of them are 8.7. Now, these guys were even 9.4K yesterday. So... I would imagine that a couple of these will rise back up into the daytime. I still like some of the fodder market for an investment. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but fodder is going up. I'm glad we mentioned one specific investment in yesterday's video as well. And I wasn't really gung ho about it because I thought we still maybe had a little bit more time. Uh, but instead, these prices are going up already. Team of the season cards, 22,000 coins right now for any team of the season card on the market. What were they yesterday? We looked at it in the video, right? 17 to 18K. So these are up 4K a card. I think that was probably the low point for all of those. If they go back down during the week this week, I would stock up for sure before ultimate team of the season, before we get to the end of team of the season again. If you have not stocked your club with some of these cheapest TOTS cards under 20K, I would even raise the threshold of like a buy price. 19,000 coins is still a decent price, I think, to get in now, especially with this extra demand that is there of that icon player pick. I think that's a good investment to hold into the future as we head out of team of the season, but team of the season cards are still required. So those cards went up a lot yesterday. And now if I had those at 17K, which I do like in the club, I'm not selling them. I'm holding on because again, the reason that I invested was to hold on for the longer haul for the rise of maybe these guys going to like 30K in a month's time or something, a couple of weeks to a month along that line. So I'm still holding, but for a quick flip yesterday, that was pretty crazy. So SBC fodder on the rise, except for the low tier. And then some of your icons are actually down um, and value a good amount because if you think about it, a lot of people, um, not a lot, but some people were packing some of these really good icons yesterday. Del Piero and his uh, big bro card, not the little bro one, but big bro Del Piero is like 730K. Um, that's just an example of, of one of the cards that went down yesterday with this SBC coming out. Some of your icons are down, and that is a common trend that we see when uh, SBCs like this drop. People sell the icon they maybe have tradable that they pack or they sell an icon in their team to go and do this player pick, right? But the rest of the market is having a very similar kind of like price imp impact. Look at some of these League One TOTS cards, man. And it's this SBC, this icon player pick, is making people sell cards from their teams to go out and to do this SBC. Look at Jonathan David. He was down from 650. 50k yesterday he is 530,000 coins a huge drop there on Jonathan David's card Ben Yedder is under 600 that's down horrendous Lacazette is 1.3 mil 
He was 1.6 mil yesterday, 164 in the early hours yesterday on Saturday. He's now down to 1.3. Like some of these price drop offs that we are seeing, it's a combination of two things. First of all, definitely that icon player pick that was dropped yesterday, but also the Serie A team in the season prices as well. I want to take a look at Verratti. Verratti went from 350 back to 380, and he's still kind of chilling around 380. So he's got a lot of demand. But if you take a look at some of the other La Liga team in the season cards, Bundesliga cards, Pedri is down like 150K. Griezmann's down 300,000 coins. Uh, Valverde is 800K, under 800K. Lorente is 529. Wasn't he like 700K still yesterday? He was, okay, 628K, now down all the way to 530. It's crazy how much some of these prices are dropping off. And I think some of that has to be, um, of course, attributed to the icon player pick that was dropped yesterday on this game. So that was the big surprise yesterday was that player pick. Again, it's going to be craftable with upgrades this week if you want to go ahead and get it done. It is a gamble, and I do believe it's going to come back. I don't know uh, if it said that it's going to come back. It did. Yeah, it's going to come back next friday i would imagine the friday refreshes for ultimate tots it's going to be a big friday this upcoming uh friday with that and the ultimate tots release out there so watch out for that but that was kind of the big surprise sbc that happened yesterday now let's talk a little bit more about the market and especially Serie A tots cards because dibala look he's like 1.1 mil uh taylor hernandez i picked one up on a low bid just to try to maybe make a quick flip out of that card today but your Serie A tots cards are down even more. I'm pretty sure Rafael Leal was like four to five million coins yesterday, and he is now under four mil. He's like 3.8. Uh, so a lot of your top tier and a lot of your low tier are both going down. I can't get over the price of this guy on this team right now. Tomori is 240k. He was just 240. Looks like he's going back up a little bit. Yeah, 245. I can't get over the price of this card, man. And I think this is the other reason that is dragging down prices continually on this market is when you have an insane team of cards that has been released that is the Serie A team of the season and you have them at these sorts of prices after all that tradable supply that we had yesterday with the player pick or sorry two days ago I mean ongoing technically people are still opening that player pick since it's in the store these prices man are crazy right Di Maria 275 Tomori is 230 Tonali is 112,000 coins this whole entire team Smalling is 97k for this cracked out center back card again Dybala was extinct at 2-3 and now he's 1.1 1.2 mil it is crazy how cheap these Serie A cards are um, I know that they are in demand because they are so cheap as well as a lot of people are selling some cards from their teams right another reason why we see cards from other leagues of team of the season dropping because people want to say hey I'll go sell the Urente. I'll go sell the Goretzka for my team to go try out this Barella, to go try out this Rabiot, right? For 949,000 coins to try out that Rabiot. Yeah, somebody might sell their Goretzka, who's also about eight to 900,000 coins. You know, that sort of thing is happening a lot on this game right now. These card prices are down even, of course, as of yesterday, like we mentioned with Dybala. He was like 1.4 mil. I sold mine last night right around there. Didn't make too much on it, but he just dropped down like all the way to 1.1. Now he's coming back up a little bit towards 1.2. This is going to be a great card to trade with, of course, later on in the week as well. Just want to shout that out. He's very rare and very in demand. But these cards are probably going to drop a bit more today on Sunday um, and then have a slight rise into tomorrow on Monday, as we normally do see. But these cards are probably going to continue to go lower as they normally do until the middle of of the week especially if that store player pick gets refreshed on either tuesday or wednesday that's something we have to really watch out for this week with these cards if that is going to get refreshed so that's kind of something to put out there if you're going to try any of these cards for the weekend league maybe today play some games of them just do not hold on to them for super long because their prices will probably not fare that well i'm not expecting crazy drops today because they're already so cheap but they could go a little bit lower now speaking of the rest of the market that we have not covered yet we got to talk about fodder again because as i mentioned i still think that some of these cards are good buys i really do and i'm looking straight at the 83s the 84s and the 85 rated cards because yesterday we had some new demand for the higher tier right the 88s and above are what are going up in price right now but the 83s to the 85s they're still pretty low. 82s as well. We've got an 81 times 11 that's still going to drop on Monday. We've got more player SBCs upcoming. We've got a couple of leaks we're going to look at here in a second. So I know every single week we've been buying these cheaper fodder tier cards. I think they're worth a club stock once again. 83s at 1.5 to 1.6. 84s at 3.5 if you can get them there. 3.7 is probably 
absolutely doable. And then 85s under 8.5K. I mean, all of these 85s yesterday were even over 9,000 coins anyway. So this one to me feels pretty guaranteed. The daily spikes and fluctuations on the middle tier fodder is probably going to be there again this week. So I like that lower tier fodder investment, whether it's, you know, just purely to make coins or if you're going to buy these cards, so that you can do SBCs for cheaper later on this week. I think that is a good look there. Again, I would stay away from buying Siri A cards. They're like DeVry's the cheapest, one of the cheapest 84s right now. What is ever gonna, everybody going to be packing from 8111s and from Siri A upgrade packs? They're going to be packing Siri A 83s, 84s, and 85s. I would stay away from those when you're investing because those will not be the ones people need to go and buy to complete the SBCs. So that's kind of there. The fodder investment is definitely still a very good club stock. Now, the question is, what in the world is going to happen today on Sunday? Because we had the icon pick already. We had a player SBC, two of them dropped yesterday. We also had the XP, I uh, forgot to mention this one. We had the XP SBC, uh, Challenge 8, I think it was, for an untradeable draft token. Kind of an L pack there, if we're being completely honest. But EA is pushing the draft objective right now. So what else are we going to have today on Sunday? We're going to have a Tots Challenge number 9, another one of these, one of our last SBCs to get XP. I'm going to have to do both of, the, both of these and then I'll be basically right at level 30. But we do have a couple of leaks and it seems like today, right? Sunday, new league of Team of the Season cards are going to be released. That's probably going to be the focus for a lot of the content today, especially if EA wanted to drop that player pick yesterday. I would imagine today's focus is going to be Liga Portugal and arguably one of the most exciting secondary or minor leagues of team of the season that we see released every single year. Last year, remember, we had the five star skills, Darwin Nunez, Benfica card. This year, we've got leaked players of Gonzalo Ramos, Taremi, Joao Mario, Otamendi, Diogo Costa, Ricardo Horta, Pedro G Fuel, as he's known as, and Grimaldo. That's a good looking team. There could be some really nice cards in this team. Now, remember, this is a prediction with, uh, I believe, predicted stats as well from FIFA U team on Twitter. It's probably going to be pretty close, though. These guys are probably going to have three cards at around 89 to 90 rated, a couple 91s, 92s, and then like two or three cards that are 93 or 94. All of these lower league team of the seasons have been very, very similar. We saw it last week, right? A couple 90, uh, 93, a couple 92s, a 91, and then some 90s, 88s, 89s. Probably going to be the same way today for these cards. But I hope EA give out some nice juices because these cards could be actually pretty linkable with one another with the Benfica links, the sporting links, um, and just the Portugal links in general with these guys. Hopefully they are juiced to the max and we have some really nice Liga Portugal cards dropped today in this game. Now, alongside of that, what is our SBC objective content going to be? We have two uh, players leaked. We've got a Bellerin SBC. Out of, evidently, he's going to be a Tots Moments player SBC. That could be today. It also might not be today. We'll have to see because I also think there's a potential for today. And this has been where a lot of people have expected the big icon player SBC to drop. And since it has not dropped yet, it does seem likely Prime Eusebio, right? He's been leaked for a while. We've been talking about him for, you know, a couple days now. It might be the day where Eusebio would be dropped as an SBC. It just makes sense, right? Eusebio playing so many games for Benfica, kind of being known as an icon for Liga Portugal. So that could be a, an icon player SBC that is dropped today. And one of the reasons maybe why EA did not want to drop that and the icon player pick today on Sunday, which is why they dropped the player pick yesterday. Just kind of reading between the lines there potentially. But Bellerin could be today if it's not Eusebio or maybe we get both. Who knows? And then we do have an objective leak as well. Otavio, and that could be a very linkable objective if he's uh, a, a really nice card. So that might be today, could be later on. We'll just have to see. But it's been pretty commonly seen that we do get an objective player on the Sunday release of the Secondary League Tots. So I'm kind of excited for these cards today because those might be some really uh, juiced up cards coming to FIFA today for League of Portugal. And then we do have another Serie A player SBC. This is probably going to be one that uh, features in this game, I'd say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, sometime in the next couple of days. I doubt it'll be today, but who knows? Milinkovic Savage. And if you guys remember, we saw a league earlier on in the week about this guy getting an SBC. Well, here's kind of confirmation of that. Uh, he is an SBC. Some people thought he was in the team beforehand, right? That was the early league that he was going to be in packs. So we'll see if 21 Savage can drop, uh, get a nice SBC drop in this game. He's always kind of a cheap meta card in FIFA and very usable, very linkable. So I'm excited for that one. But um, that's kind of, you know, more Serie A hype later on 
this week probably not dropping today on this game though so today for the market we got squad battle rewards if any of you guys have grinded that good luck with those rewards i'm keeping the flips to a minimum because it seems like everything that i touch right now just continues to go down but i'm going to try to flip this tail hernandez because he was like 880 890 for a lot of time yesterday and tail was just a card that is in very high demand so I'm going to do a couple quick flips on this guy today. See if we can get it back up to the high 800s. Is he already going? Okay, he's about 850. So we got that one at 817. That is nice. I missed the low prices for some of these guys from Serie A, but I might have to dip into some of these cards that are like Lacazette being 1.3. Oh my goodness, man. He's still getting listed, so he's not at the bottom yet. But it's crazy to see how much some of these guys have dropped off. Jonathan David for me is one that I can see him going from like 530, 540,000 coins back up to like i don't even know maybe like 580 590 i'm not expecting all these guys to fully rebound but some of these guys that are very meta very popular i'm definitely keeping a watch on today um because i want to see where their prices could potentially go and we could potentially make some coins on them and flip them today but i'm going to keep it to quick flips only you guys know the drill quick flips only especially on the weekends and hopefully today we get a nice sunday day of content so if you are excited for sunday content today drop a thumbs up on the video comment down below if you have any questions or tell me what you got in your icon player pick and uh subscribe if you're new guys yeah i'll see you in the stream today it's been nathan for counting catch you guys there peace out